Hello and welcome, new viewers, uh, to a new episode of uh, To The Point. Uh, I'm Karim Gamaluddin. I'm going to be your host uh, for tonight's uh, episode. And uh, tonight we're going to be shedding the light on the ramifications and the importance of the uh, meetings that were held uh, by the uh, Islamic Development Bank in Sharm el-Sheikh under the auspices, of course, of President Afet al-Sisi. There were different, uh, the meetings tackled uh, different uh, points and uh, uh, also, there were main uh, points that were uh, tackled and also recommendations from this uh, series of meetings that were held in the city of uh, the Red Sea Resort city of Sharm el-Sheikh under the auspices of President Afet al-Sisi and in the presence of an array of uh, distinguished guests and uh, Egyptian officials including, of course, uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, Dr. Mustafa Madbouli as well as other high-ranking officials and uh, to shed more light on this topic we're most delighted to be joined live here in the studio by uh, Dr. Uh, Taha Ali, uh, political researcher. A very good evening sir and thank you so much for joining us on To The Point. Thank you. Uh, uh, before going on air, I knew from you, sir, that you were attending uh, the uh, uh, meetings in person in Sharm el-Sheikh. If you can tell us, of course, about uh, or walk us through the, the main points of discussion and the recommendations of this uh, meeting and, uh, of course, uh, the, uh, the, uh, how, the ambience and, of course, uh, the reflections of the attendance. First of all, let's see that it's important to, uh, for Egypt to host uh, the annual meeting of such important uh, financial international institute, multilateral one also. Uh, I think it reflects uh, the uh, trust of this such um, uh, institution in the, what's, um, what's going on in, the, in, Egypt, uh, in Egypt recently, especially uh, the uh, mega project uh, development plan that is, uh, that is being implemented by the go Egyptian government also. Uh, actually, I attended several uh, of, of this uh, uh, important uh, event, yes. uh, uh, it worked on many uh, uh, parallel uh, axes uh, for uh, uh, that covered many uh, important issues that shattered the uh, uh, international economy and international politics in general, uh, such as uh, green uh, ten te uh, wallet tendency toward the uh, green economy as a, a part of the, the uh, international agenda to fighting the climate change problem, also uh, uh, digital transformation all over the world, uh, also uh, fighting uh, the crisis and the problem that has been generated uh, by uh, international crisis like COVID-19 and uh, the problem related to the, to the international cri crisis uh, politically and economically uh, in the uh, Russian-Ukraine uh, war. And I think it was an important uh, event to discuss all of these pro uh, topics uh, to, uh, uh, to find the recommendation to the government. It's the, this institution uh, include more than, uh, it's, I think it's about uh, 57 uh, mem uh, member country mm -hmm. uh, since it has been established uh, more than 40 years. I think the uh, Islamic Development Bank played an important role in boosting the uh, development in its country, m member countries. Uh, so uh, this session, I think it's important in Egypt, especially in nowadays. Uh, that's why we found the, 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 the warm welcoming by uh, His Excellency, uh, the Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli, under uh, auspices of His Excellency, uh, the President Abdel Fattah Sisi. Yes, um, uh, Doctor, also, uh, uh, if you can tell us about the importance of uh, holding uh, this uh, meeting here in Egypt uh, ahead of the COP27, uh, uh, which is scheduled to be held in November uh, later this year, also in the city of uh, Sharm el-Sheikh, and the, the importance of tackling uh, the uh, challenges of uh, climate change and, of course, uh, solutions uh, to, uh, as you have kindly mentioned, to turning to the uh, green economy and, of course, yes. uh, um, uh, environment-friendly uh, uh, solutions and so on and so forth. 
I think it's important to, to, to be held in this time, especially before, uh, I think it's uh, a few months before the COP27 yes. that is going to be held in uh, Sharm Sheikh in November, I think. So. Yeah. And uh, it may be uh, an introductory to uh, and this, um, minimizing vision of uh, what's, what's being happened and also uh, it's very nice chance for Egypt to present its vision uh, for the world, for the the uh, uh, country members of the ISDB and also um, uh, it is a sign from Egypt to the world that we are still able to organize important events such uh, this annual meeting of ISDB and also we are ready to, uh, to host the upcoming event of uh, climate change COP27 uh, and also uh, we, uh, the, uh, His Excellency Pre uh, Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli said, uh, m said a lot of what's happened uh, by the Egyptian government in this file also. I think I saw uh, during my participation in this uh, event uh, many uh, international figures like Dr. Mohid, Mahmoud Mohideen, the executive director of the World Bank, mm. uh, uh, he said uh, much about the, uh, what, how the world see the upcoming event event of 20, uh, COP27 and how, how can we talk the world also and what can we uh, present or provide the world of uh, and and also I think it's important point uh, the uh, this talk about I, I remember uh, the the African position in the world arena and world map of um, concern uh, that is related to the, uh, the climate change problem. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Mahmoud, Mahmoud Mohideen and uh, His Excellency Dr. Mustafa Mdouli said that it's unfair of that the uh, African countries uh, contribute not more than three or four percent of the uh, climate change problem and its source that and uh, they should be supported in facing such a problem also. Mm -hmm. I think Egypt uh, um, speak to uh, Egypt speaks to the world in name of African countries also I think it's yes. important uh, event in this time also before COP27 uh, for this yes. point. Uh, another uh, main topic that was discussed uh, is uh, digital uh, transformation. Yeah. How yeah. do you see the importance of uh, discussing this topic as also uh, the Egyptian uh, government and the political leadership of course in Egypt under the leadership of President Afet uh, are taking yeah. major steps towards the digital uh, transformation Transformation and the financial inclusion, of course, uh, relentless yeah. efforts are yeah. being exerted in this regard. Of course, it's, uh, you are right. In uh, Egypt, during the last few years, we saw many, many important steps to talk, taken by the Egyptian government, and also we have great experience in this field. Also, uh, uh, we, ha uh, we, we are trying to tell the world that we have something to, uh, for you, to our experience, especially for those in Africa. African countries should be, uh, I myself spoke to many uh, African uh, officers that we have something in Egypt we have to exchange uh, especially in the African uh, West African countries M many people from there uh, pro uh, presented uh, um, uh, their uh, challenges the problem with the digital transformation I think we there is a space is good spaces uh, should be exploited to work together between Egypt and African countries in, in this uh, in this side um, Egypt uh, recently took uh, many uh, uh, unique, many unique uh, initi initiatives in this field. Also, uh, we have something, something to, do, to to give to the other, especially for those who are in African uh, continents. Yes. Uh, also, uh, uh, speaking about the pandemic, of course, this unprecedented uh, yeah. global emergency that has brought the whole world to a standstill. But Egypt uh, and the uh, political leadership has uh, taken. Uh, um, very important and significant steps to uh, overcome this uh, global emergency and uh, to uh, sustain uh, the uh, economy and uh, not to uh, have uh, impose burden on the Egyptian uh, citizen. Uh, your take uh, on that, sir? I think we have a good experience in fighting the COVID-19 crisis in Egypt, especially mm. after uh, the government managed successfully to make uh, to make a, a, a unit for uh, crisis management. Also yes. in Egypt, so we could uh, uh, to face this crisis uh, successfully. We didn't close our economy. We 
closed a little bit gradually and partially. So uh, we came back uh, fastly from the, uh, we have been shattered like all over the world. But mm -hmm. I think uh, we are one of the, one of the little uh, countries that achieved a positive GDP in, in Egypt comparing to the other world uh, and the other world countries. Uh, so that's why we have something to benefit the other countries in Africa and the, the world, uh, the, the other member countries of the ISDB and uh, it was uh, a good part of the sessions and a good part of this event uh, the Egyptian uh, offic officials said to the, their uh, foreign counterpart from the other uh, members mm. uh, that we presented them our experience and uh, I think the, the, in the last few days we uh, know uh, about the Egyptian initiatives to support the African uh, countries of uh, COVID-19 um, uh, 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 fighting COVID-19 by the Egyptian government, I think. Uh, yes, uh, the government has, uh, throughout the pandemic, uh, yep. uh, the government has uh, supported uh, many uh, countries, yeah, 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 yeah. including uh, Italy, of course, and yeah. other countries uh, providing yeah, yeah. Uh, vaccines and uh, yeah, yeah. I uh, think, medical I think equipment. More than I think there is an uh, there is announcement about more than uh, 30 millions uh, uh, to be to be given for our uh, African uh, brothers uh, in the con the continent. Mm -hmm. I think this is very nice uh, situation to be uh, to to come back to your real place in the African as a leader in the, for the Africans as not leaders but one the, it's it's your position is your history and civilizational position that mm. you are worthy to play. You are the big brother of the African countries, so that's our real position. That's why uh, uh, in the field of COVID-19 and, uh, and another pandemics, uh, we have a good experience from our health sectors in Egypt also. Yes. Uh, also, another important aspect that we have to shed the light on is uh, uh, in the midst, of course, of uh, another uh, global economic uh, downturn that the whole world is facing, of course, due to the uh, Russian-Ukrainian uh, uh, crisis, uh, which is rallying the support of the private sector to uh, overcome uh, this uh, crisis and to, uh, to uh, save uh, the uh, country from any uh, economic or financial burdens on the uh, Egyptian citizens and for all those living in the country. If you can tell us more about that. I I think this is the most important point in the, the recent event by the I, uh, Islamic Development Bank. Mm. I think the core point of these sessions is uh, promoting, and I think it was uh, one of the recommendations by the bank also, that mm. w the first, one, uh, fir first point is that we have to promote the private sector to, uh, to overcome such a crisis. For Egyptian uh, side, I think the Egyptian government ex invested more than, uh, it's about six, six trillion uh, uh, Egyptian bound to pave the way and to create a suitable environment for uh, for the uh, private sector and uh, the, the 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 most important axis of this uh, event by the ISDB also uh, to promote the world uh, the private sector and uh, there is some session I think it's, it has been it, it took three days before in the, na the last nine sessions and last nine annual meeting by the bank, it was just one day, but this time it took three days, the discussions between, it's, uh, I think it's private sector forum by the uh, Islamic uh, uh, ISDB. Mm. Uh, that's why uh, the, uh, they, they consider the private sector as a, uh, the, the backbone of the uh, national economies. The, it's not, not side one, it's backbone and your important uh, player and the key player of the, govern of the governmental economics strategies. We, you have to empower the private sector to uh, overcome such crises, especially uh, in the light of the in a world crisis due to the war between Russia and, and the, not Ukraine, and, but other countries, the European countries also. We are one of the people uh, shattered by such crisis. So we have to be solidar to be in solidar to, to, to be so, uh, consolidate in consolidation. We have to be solidar together to face such problem. Uh, I think this is very important point by the, this is a, the common, common sense between all participants of the sessions by, by ISDB. Yes. 
Uh, also speaking about uh, this uh, series of uh, meetings, uh, sir, the uh, ISDB or the Islamic Development Bank uh, group uh, decided uh, during this uh, meetings, uh, its annual meetings held uh, in Sharm Sheikh to launch its regional office in Cairo uh, under the auspices of President Afatah Sisi. The importance and the significance of this decision. I think it reflects the, 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 the level of trust and confidence in the Egyptian experience that had been taken by, uh, that had been achieved in the recent months and recent period by the Egyptian government. Also, it's, uh, it reflects that the, uh, there is a flourish and a promising economy in Egypt. It's, I think it's a sign for the world that in Egypt something we have to listen, we have to invest in Egypt, we have to, uh, um, uh, to collaborate with Egypt to face the international uh, impact of the uh, the problem uh, of uh, economic crisis and whatever and also uh, it reflects i said it's the the the, uh, the 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 credibility of the egyptian efforts during the last years in the past years be, uh, and uh, it reflects how much the egyptian government is spent and invested in f of in the infrastructure to see the world, we are, you are welcome to invest in Egypt. I think this is very, very nice credit. Yeah. Um, uh, sir, uh, of course, uh, to the, back to the COVID-19 and, of course, uh, followed uh, by the uh, war and the Russian-Ukrainian uh, crisis mm -hmm. has uh, brought severe implications uh, and has uh, pushed the government to prioritize agriculture, industry and uh, information technology sectors to be the main areas to invest in. Uh, uh, to what extent uh, do you see we have progressed in this regard so far? In this regard, if you imagine what about the, uh, the uh, what about the map of development and the project uh, and the projects that have been achieved by the Egyptian government during last uh, last uh, last years, you will find the the priority number one priority is the infrastructure of uh, development, agriculture, especially to fight to feed the uh, food crisis, not in Egypt but all regional and world uh, problem. And also, we invested at least I said before uh, six trillion. Egyptian bound, mm. I think it's very important to pr comparing to the Egyptian reality. It's very, very important and very big number. That's, uh, it's, some people say, why you, sp you spend this, all of this months in infrastructure? I think it was a future, a future of vision by the Egyptian regime and which, uh, under the auspices of his, uh, his Excellency President Abdel Fattah says we have a long run vision to, in, to invest in the infrastructure, especially in the time of crisis. Uh, uh, now, now this is the time. We have to invest more and more and more in agriculture to face the uh, world food crisis. We have to be independent of the world, not dependent on the others. We have to be independent in agriculture, uh, especially in this way, because we, uh, we, we, we consume too much comparing to the other countries. So we have to we have to spend to invest more and more in the agricultural sector. Also, uh, if you imagine the numbers, if you, if you look at the numbers in the portfolio between, the, uh, between Egypt and the World uh, and, uh, yes. Islamic Development Bank, you will find at least the portfolio as, as, as it has mentioned by His Excellency Mr. Uh, Mohammed El Jasser, mm -hmm. uh, uh, president, uh, president of the ISDB, he said that at least 17 billion dollar has been uh, uh, supported to Egypt to, uh, has been supported to Egypt during during since 1974 uh, now 60% uh, uh, of this number dedicated was has been dedicated to the uh, energy 16% uh, for the agriculture 11% for the uh, real estate and i think it's it's becoming it's, it's being become to be more and more and more, at least about fif 13, 13 agreement and the memorandum of understanding has been signed between Egypt and the ISDB also during the last session. I think the upcoming, this will, will see a good result because of this. Yes. Yeah. 
Uh, also, speaking about uh, good results and achievements uh, and uh, reducing uh, poverty, eradicating poverty, there were several uh, presidential initiatives that were launched uh, in this regard with the main aim or objective of reaching the most vulnerable, of course, namely uh, Haya Karima yeah. initiative. Uh, uh, how do you think that uh, the government can rally further support in order to provide more services uh, and social protection to the most uh, vulnerable? in Egypt? Uh, uh, it, was p it was one of the, um, uh, the clear points that presented to the uh, sessions and uh, it was uh, among the discussions that had been uh, taken uh, at, uh, in the uh, ISDB that its NGOs should be involved in, the in implementing the uh, initiative by the government such as Haya Karima especially because it's very very comprehensive and very wide one and also it's a development and development. So it's for all parts of the Egyptian society not for s s specific sectors mm -hmm. and also this is for underdeveloped people and those who most need these uh, areas and that's why uh, I, I saw many presentations for this uh, uh, initiative uh, during the sessions of ISDB mm. uh, by, by uh, present, uh, presenting such initiative. I think we, we are talking in the world that we have a good experience in fighting poverty mm. and also we have a good experience in creating and empowering, uh, empowering marginalized people in Egypt also. It's, I think uh, it's very important to, to see the, to, 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 it, to let the others to see what has, what's going on in the Egyptian. Uh, and I think the, the Egyptian government is suc succeed to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, sir, uh, we're almost a population of 102 million, uh, according to the official uh, data. Uh, yeah. Where uh, was the uh, topic of creating job opportunities for the youth which represent uh, a major or a main portion of the Egyptian society tackled during the meetings? I think it's not a problem that we are more than 100. It's a mm. nice number, not mm. the, not crisis. Mm. Because we can supply this such big number in creating yeah, it's, more it's innovative not, it's, ideas. It's a challenge, but uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, uh, exploiting the manpower and uh, yeah, the, the, capability of, uh, the, the, the capability of youth, which represent a yeah, major yeah, portion yeah. in the society. Yeah, I think it will be, be by, uh, w w it will be through the uh, k uh, fostering and uh, uh, promoting the culture of work and innovative between the new ger generations. Mm. I, I think it's being uh, implemented by um, the many, uh, many initiative by the Egyptian presidency like uh, uh, the, follow, the follow, uh, training academy by the president, Egyptian presidency mm. that is allocate pe people to create an innovative ideas. I mm. think this big number uh, you can Trans, uh, uh, you can look uh, at this number as a, as a chance, as a, as a good chance. Mm. You have to exploit in creating innovation. And, and also, from the economic perspective, you can consider this big number as a big demand. Yes. The big demand, it could be transformed into the big con uh, production. Mm. And I think that's why most of uh, the world, most of the world countries see, look at Egypt as a good chance to work in Egypt. You have to invest in Egypt because Egypt has a big number of, uh, of demand. We, this demand can provide you uh, cheaper uh, manpower and uh, big, m big number to, uh, to create uh, opportunities, to create demand also, I think. Capacity building, I Capacity believe. building, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. Uh, and also, uh, especially in the, in, in the time of uh, uh, digital transformation, the most of the of most of new generations are very interesting of uh, digitalization most of these many experts experts see that the egyptian uh, pe population will be a good player in promoting the uh, uh, in fostering and empowering and, and fostering strengthening the egyptian economy during i think from five to the upcoming uh, in the short short, short long mm -hmm. short to, to medium uh, term mm -hmm. uh, especially between five and ten years you will find a very good economy because of this new generation because mm -hmm. the, most of them are um, open-minded and uh, they are eager to know wh what the new what about the new technology they are 
heavy consumer of technology. I think this is big number will be sure a, a great manpower, especially in the transform the, the, the age of digital digitalization. Yes. Uh, what about uh, entrepreneurship, sir, and the significance of entrepreneurship? And was it among the topics that were discussed uh, during uh, the meetings of the Islamic Development? Uh, I Bank? think more than three sessions held by uh, uh, by entrepreneurs in uh, the ISB meeting last in Sharm Sheikh last time. Mm. Uh, it, it it took a good a good time to be discussed between mm. because the the uh, as the president of the conference mr muhammad al jasser said that we convince we completely convinced of the uh, the, the ability of new generation to especially on those who are working in startups mm. so we have to some support uh, entrepreneurs and uh, these uh, it was a, a common agreement between Egypt and uh, the uh, ISDB, especially in this field. Uh, Mr. Uh, his Excellency Dr. Mustafa Madbouli announced it in his sessions also, in his dialogue with the, the public, that we are working for uh, empowering youth uh, to uh, to work and to foster this, uh, the private sector and the pri entrepreneurs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, industrialization, sir. And mm -hmm. uh, also uh, uh, we are seeing uh, now that <coughs> Egypt is witnessing a milestone in uh, uh, industrialization and uh, exporting uh, its uh, national uh, uh, and Egyptian-made products to the world. The importance of this uh, step as well. Last time, the, government, the Egyptian government announced that we have a good plan and a st national strategy to promote and to widen, to broaden mm. uh, the, uh, the Egyptian export to the world, to, mm. to, to doubling the number of export exports. Uh, mm. And this is what it was a point the, of the Dr. Mustafa Madbouli to the, the attendees of the uh, mm. conference. And uh, he said that we have, uh, we have taken uh, several steps, in, especially in the field uh, on the side of infrastructure that I told you more than six, six, six trillion uh, Egyptian bound in the field of infrastructure to be the way to, uh, for all sectors of economy, especially in, in, uh, and uh, tourism, uh, industrialization, especially in this, uh, industrialization, because it's important to, to support industrialization because it, it is the main way to, 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 to open the door for the uh, foreign currency to, uh, more, to, to put more add value for the Egyptian economy because we don't have to, we, we, we don't have to, to let it close the economy, circularization of the money in, the, in close circulation. Mm -hmm. We have to, to work, to, to push, to, 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 to do more effort to push the, the Egyptian industry to be open for the world, to, to get more, than, more and more and more uh, foreign currency, especially now, nowadays under the uh, world crisis. The, not, not because of the uh, Russia and, uh, and Ukraine war only, but because also the world economy is, uh, is, is going to have uh, a chronic problem. Mm. Well, uh, I, I think it, uh, I hope it's not, uh, but many experts say that we are, we are going to a great recession, mm. such as this is, it was at 1929. Mm. Uh, in Egypt, we have to be ready for such a crisis. Yes. Uh, speaking about tourism, sir, uh, do you believe that holding uh, the uh, annual meetings of the Islamic Development Bank Group uh, in Sharm Sheikh and of course the upcoming uh, uh, COP27 where the whole where leaders of uh, the whole world will be present in Sharm Sheikh, does this uh, have a positive impact on the tourism in Egypt? I think for the first instance, you have to say, you, you, you can say that uh, uh, establishing, uh, sorry, organizing such event in Sharm Sheikh, the, 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 the city of peace, mm -hmm. I think is a sign for the world that we are safe, you, you are welcome. And also, uh, uh, and, uh, and it's secure also. Uh, and uh, j it's just two months and you, 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 you'll host another inter international uh, COP27. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the visitors, and the participants in this, uh, from the other countries, they managed to see what is Sharm Sheikh. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very nice place. It's, uh, it's an icon for the Egyptian tourism also. And it's, uh, the, the government successfully managed to market its sign. Uh, I think yesterday or today, uh, the Dr. Mustafa Madbouli uh, met 
with the uh, the minister of uh, the minister of tourism of Egypt and also they discussed Dr. Khalid uh, the, the, Dr. Khalid mm -hmm. uh, I think this it was today. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a meeting between them to discuss the new uh, the, the new de developments of the, the Egyptian strategy, yeah. uh, strategy to support and promote the Egyptian. Uh, and of course, sir, there's also the. Uh, uh, the inauguration of the uh, Grand Egyptian uh, Museum, which is yeah, much yeah, anticipated yeah, yeah. by the whole world, another world-class event uh, that uh, the whole world uh, are having their fingers crossed, waiting for yeah. this uh, very important moment. This is completely right. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, and but but let. Let, let's go back to the, the, the event of the ISDB. It says mm -hmm. the world we are, f we are trust in Egypt, more uh, uh, participants from more than 57 countries. Those who are the mm -hmm. member countries of the, uh, Islamic, the, the Islamic, Islamic, Islamic I met many of them, and this, mm -hmm. the, most of them uh, told me a, a good speech about Egypt. Mm -hmm. And they, to, uh, they talked to me, we are happy to, find, to, to, to visit Egypt. Uh, uh, I hope. I told, them, I told them that I hope it's not the last time. Mm. <laughs> I, I hope you come, you come again. Mm. And, I, and also to create a headquarter, regional headquarter in Egypt. Uh, it's, uh, for the ISDB also, I think it's it's uh, it's very nice development and the for Egypt uh, Egyptian credibility for the world. Yeah, That's, I think the this will be will have positive effect of the uh, tourism in Egypt. Yes. Uh, since you were uh, there, sir, and on the ground, allow us to also to uh, ask you and uh, to walk us through the major and important reactions that you got from the participants and the attendants of this very important uh, conference that was attended, of course, by uh, His Excellency uh, Dr. Mustafa Mabouli, the Prime Minister, yeah. a number of ministers, and of course, held under the auspices of His Excellency President Afatah. Yeah, it was very positive and very important thing to, uh, to be hosted by and uh, under the auspices of His Excellency uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi and the uh, physical participation by the uh, Dr. Mabouli and Dr. Halal Said and the other min Egyptian ministry, mm -hmm. ministers and the other uh, member of uh, 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 House of, uh, of other Egyptian parliament, uh, parliament yeah, also, parliament, yes. uh, and I saw many of Egyptian, many of Egyptian businessmen also there. I think this it it it's, it, it reflects that most of Egyptian societies support the government tendency toward this point. We are not the government who create and host such events. Most of Egyptian parties, I, I assume also many of NGOs also and media uh, attended in this uh, event. And I think, as, you, as I told you before, it's a good chance to see the world this is, that there is a consolidation and solidarity between Egypt, all of Egyptian parties. And w this is national event. It's not for the governmental event. Most of Egyptian parties should have be participated, should ha actually they participated in this event. And uh, this, this gave, this sent a message for all participants that Egyptian is on one hand. Mm -hmm. And also we have, uh, we are working together. And we have a, a national sense. It's our country. It's our uh, common uh, uh, common interest. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's it's our common destination for those who are coming from. Uh, there is there are there were many people from African countries. I I met myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I I spoke to them. We are uh, we we look at Egypt as a good brother, as a big brother. Mm -hmm. We have to come here again. We, we are happy to, to see Egypt is, ca is coming back to us. Mm -hmm. I think this ha it was a very, very good moment to see this uh, positive impression in their eyes, their words. Many, I, I, I remember some, uh, some words b by um, some econo economists from Nigeria, uh, sorry, uh, from Mali. He told us about his experience in tra uh, digital transformation, and he presented us a very good and miserable, fa miserable uh, picture of the challenge they face because of lack of opportunities in, uh, in, the, uh, in the field of digitalization. He said, we are hope that uh, to make 
to work together with the Egyptian gov government and to benefit so from the Egypt is serving as a role model to yep. insp and an inspiration to other countries in order to follow suit. Yeah, he told us many times, we are ready to put mm. our hand in yours. We are, we are ready to work together. I, I, I asked him to give me his uh, context so we, and we can, uh, uh, we can create a dialogue with him to mm. present his, uh, to present to the, the Egyptian population and the Egyptian public uh, opinion how do they see us we are we they see us that we have a good and pioneer experience we have to share our the Egyptian experience especially in the digital transformation uh, I think I, I attend also sessions uh, by uh, uh, for someone from Malaysia and uh, Indonesia sorry I'm mm. from Indonesia mm. they presented us also their experience and very unique and very nice stories from their countries I think such event is very nice opportunity to, to exchange, exchange to opinions and stories from uh, together. Mm. Uh, Egypt, in Egypt, we have to exploit such, and we have to build upon this uh, this step. And I, I trust that the Egyptian government will will do it successfully. Yes, yes indeed, uh, uh, Doctor uh, Taha. Also, uh, were the challenges facing the economy tackled and addressed uh, during the meeting? And of course, uh, were solutions uh, raised by by the moderators or the speakers that were present and participating in the conference? I think it was uh, first of all uh, that the imbalance between the uh, the countries of the uh, member countries of the uh, the uh, ISB, uh, as you know, most of these member countries are from Africa mm -hmm. and Asian countries, mm -hmm. and a little bit from Europe. Fifty-seven countries, most of them are from developing countries. Mm -hmm. Most of them lack of um, uh, lack of uh, capital and the lack of uh, international support for their uh, programs or projects. Yeah, 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 for the program, the programs mm -hmm. also. Uh, but also very important points that we have worked together and we have to create a policies, a common policies be between us. Uh, I think this is, that is, was politically uh, a motivated issue. Uh, mm, but as Mr. Jesse said, we are drawing our future map and we pointed to two points we have to work together to face. First of all, uh, it's allocating variety during, uh, especially after COVID-19, mm -hmm. because uh, this pandemic shattered most of Egyptian, most of African and, and the member countries' economies. Also, um, um, uh, uh, focusing on digitalizing and also the green economies. And I think uh, the lack of resources and obstacle by some grid bars on the world uh, arena and especially from the European and the post-colonial and ex-colonial col col uh, colonies. Mm. And, uh, but I think in, uh, in, the govern in the bank, I think we have a good will to work together to overcome such problem. I think so. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, as we're wrapping up, uh, I'd like to listen to your uh, closing, closing remarks. Um, we managed to organize and host a very successful uh, event of the 10th annual meeting of the, uh, of the uh, Islamic Development Bank, and I think it's a very nice step could be, we have to build open in the upcoming days, and I trust that the Egyptian government can do this in future. Yes. Uh, Dr. Uh, Toha Ali, uh, political researcher, we really appreciate uh, your insight, and thank you so much for joining us on thank you. To The Point. Thank you, and you are welcome. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. Thank Bye. you. And uh, dear viewers, uh, by this, uh, we wrap up uh, tonight's episode of uh, To The Point. Uh, I'm uh, Karim Gamaldeen, and stay tuned as a lot more is still coming up on Nile TV International. This is good night.